In tech, I would say I use very little. One other thing I would say as you're looking across certificates is these are the career paths that I've seen people take. It can get really repetitive and boring, to be honest. So many of you guys leave me comments every week and I do read every single one of them. So thank you so much. And because of that, I wanna to dedicate today's video to answering your data and career questions. Now, based off my experience of 10 years in data across healthcare and tech, I will do my best to answer them and I will include the timestamps here so that you know which questions are coming up and let's get started. The first question is, qualifications, certificates, do you think would be best for a beginner to get started? I get this question a lot from you guys. You are just starting and you don't know where to start. I would say figure out the skills that you're going to need to know and that includes some technical skills and soft skills. So the technical skills you should know are Excel, SQL, ABI visualization tool like Power BI, Tableau, as well as Python and statistics. And then you have soft skills that will include communication and critical thinking. I don't think that there's one certificate that's going to teach you all the skills that I just listed. And I think the best way to figure out which certificate is best for you is to figure out what skills do you already have and what are the gaps in those skills to get to where you want to go. One other thing I would say as you're looking across certificates is to make sure that they're project based because you don't want to just be watching videos. And I really would encourage you whatever certificate you choose to then take that knowledge and apply it to your own projects because that's really where you're going to learn your data analysis skills and also use them on your resume for job applications. What are your top tips for breaking into the first role as a data analyst? So like I said, you'll want to focus on learning the skills and working on projects. After you've done that, the next stage will be getting ready for your job applications. And so my tips there would be first, tailor your resume to read like a data analyst resume. What does that mean? That means you should make sure you have your skills listed at the top since it's a technical role that you're applying for. Also make sure you have the keywords like data, analysis, SQL on your resume because those are the skills that a recruiter would be looking for. And also make sure you're leveraging your existing skills like communication, problem solving, as those are also data analyst skills that you can showcase on your resume. And I do have a whole video on the data analyst resume and what to do along with a free template. So I'll make sure I link that video for anyone who wants to reference it. My second tip is to be flexible and widen your scope of roles that you're looking for. I know a lot of you guys on my channel are looking specifically for data analyst roles, but data is used across all organizations in many different roles. I coach a lot of consultants, project managers who want to upskill in data and aren't necessarily data analysts. And once you get your foot in the door and you can get some hands-on work experience, that will make you stand out so much more and make it so much easier for you to get your second data analyst role. And another tip is to use LinkedIn and social media to your advantage. LinkedIn is now like the Facebook of professionals. You'll see people posting up their families on there. Basically, it's a place where professionals hang out and where recruiters may see your work. You want to post your portfolio on there, maybe post some data articles you came across and just make yourself more visible to the data world and that's how you can start networking. Honestly, when you start putting your out there, you increase the likelihood of someone coming across your work and giving you a job offer. I'll give you an example. Once I started putting my data analyst work on YouTube, I've had so many more connections that are old and new reaching out to me, as well as companies that I couldn't get in touch with before now reaching out because they see my work. So the lesson is you don't know who's out there who might come across your stuff so increase your chances by putting your work out there. What skills do you usually use most of the time as a data analyst? I would say that the top two skills that I use are communication and SQL. Communication really takes up, I would say at least 50% of my work and weeks go by when I don't even touch the data. And I'll explain why. 
It's because gathering requirements and working with your stakeholders can take a very long time. A lot of your stakeholders will come to you with a business problem that's not very clear. When you're working on projects and working through courses, it's really clear what your data analysis project is as well as what the problem statement is. What was the sales for this month? And there's a clear answer of it was $100,000, let's say. Whereas in the real world, you're going to have stakeholders who ask you, why did sales go down this month? And it's your job as the data analyst to work with the stakeholder to really define what that means. Is it seasonality? Is it a data issue? Is it a category of products going down? And all that refining of the problem and gathering the requirements requires a lot of communication. And so I would say communication is a skill that data analysts will really use on the job. Next is SQL. Most of my analysis that I do on the job requires SQL. In tech, I would say I use very little Excel, but in healthcare, I use a lot of Excel. So that would be really company industry dependent. In my role today, I use a lot more of SQL and I would say cloud technology are the two technical tools that I use the most. What would you say is the career growth trajectory and future prospects for a BI engineer? This is a good question because I've only been talking about how to become a data analyst, but what happens afterwards? As time goes on, you're going to realize that the work will become repetitive and may no longer be challenging, especially if you sit in the same data analyst role doing the same work every day. So if you're building the same dashboards, solving the same problems, it can get really repetitive and boring, to be honest. When I hit times like that in my career, that's when I've realized I need to change industries or maybe upskill. And so I see really four different career paths that you can take from the data analyst or BI engineer start. The first is you can go the individual contributor route. That means you go from junior to senior to principal. And as you move up, the problems you solve will become more ambiguous and challenging, but you won't have the workload of managing anybody. Then the second route is the manager route. You then go to director, you become VP of data analytics, and your job is to really manage your team as well as influence others and attend a lot more meetings. The third route is you can upskill and move over to the other data roles. I have seen a lot of my peers who start off as a data analyst move over to data engineering, data science. And I mean, I personally have moved too from data analyst to BI engineer. The next is you learn a new domain, change industries, and that will really give you a new challenge of having to solve different types of problems. I personally have done all four of these. As you move up in your data analyst career, you'll have to start getting new skills and pivoting your career to what fits you and your lifestyle the most. If you like this format, please let me know as I would love to share more of my data experience and help you navigate this career field in a Q&A format. I also have a newsletter where I go over questions like this and give you insider information. So if you're interested, it's free, please subscribe. And I'll put in the link below so you can refer to it. If you wanna learn more about what I wish I knew before becoming a data analyst, I will link that video up here. Thank you again so much and I will see you there.